What are we having for breakfast today? What? Cereal? That's right. Crockett got to eat. Now it's our turn. Just kind of show you here real quick what a beautiful morning this is. Time for breakfast. Starting road to Valley of Fire State Park. I wasn't sure. I thought I saw it, but I don't think I did see it. So um, we're going to head down this road here in just a little bit. There's a place to turn out of, uh, and we're going to go back and uh, check it out so we can get a better view of it. So uh, hold on. Let's go. Lots of holes. Yeah. That's what it said on that thing, but I saw it from the road. The loop trail says 1.3 miles, but the out and back just to look at the rock is 0.2 miles. Copy that. That's supposed to be Elephant Rock? Yeah. Oh, I guess it kind of does. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah, it looks more like it now. Looks like the trail got blocked right there. It goes yeah, around that right rock. There. Huh? It goes around that That's rock. That's one that goes 1.3 miles. It's a loop. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> road they're supposed to be picked with this all i right. don't think we want to do the wave trail because by the time we get there it'll be close to These formations up here on the left are called the Seven Sisters. We're going to stop and check it out. As we walked along the Seven Sisters formations, we were in awe of how beautiful they were. And all these little holes everywhere, how were those formed? Yeah, these were made millions and millions of years ago, and we got to sit there and walk through them. How awesome is that? There's also a little picnic area in between uh, uh, one of these, uh, these um, outcrops of these um, formations. I think it's on the next one over. So you could actually stop here and have a picnic amongst these, uh, these giants. Did you see the picnic table? It went by really fast, but that's where you can stop and have lunch. What a beautiful day this was. I don't think anywhere else in this entire planet has a place that looks like this. The Valley of Fire is so awesome. Just incredible views. So after uh, this, we're gonna head down the road just a bit and check out some more stuff to see.
But first, we're going to make a quick pit stop at the visitor center. Roxanne's going to go in and look for some stickers for the van and maybe a refrigerator magnet. But look at all that. Look how beautiful that is. It's just incredible. After that quick pit stop, we take off down the road again. We're going to go around the back side of this uh, mountain that you see here. Um, stay tuned because uh, we have a uh, really cool encounter with some wild creatures uh, that's uh, native to this area. It was uh, pretty cool to see them all. I don't think we'll ever forget to drive through this valley. It's like driving in a whole new planet. Not that there's roads on it at any other planets, but if there was, would it look like this? Who knows? But that's what it looks like here. It's like a whole new planet. We thought about taking this hike to some petroglyphs, but it was kind of warm out and it's a mile in a mile out. And we knew that there was petroglyphs further down the road, really nice petroglyphs. So we're gonna head over to the Silica Valley, or uh, Silica Mountain, sorry.
Canyon overlooks Silica Dome. We're not going that far. You're gonna walk over that way or So, silica dome, as you probably would guess, has high concentrate of silica in the soil and in the rock. Hence the name silica dome. Okay, keep an eye on the left. These are those wild creatures that uh, I told you about earlier. Yep, big horned sheep. A little herd of them. They were so cute. Uh, somebody had told us that a couple of the males were uh, uh, hitting racks earlier before we got there. But uh, yeah, they're pretty awesome. Did I just say racks? These aren't deer. <laughs> These are sheep, bighorn sheep. So they were button heads. Hey guys. See ya. Bye.